Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here at the 2015 Toronto International Film Festival. I'm here at Midnight Madness for the world premiere of Southbound. Uh, can you tell me the uh, segment you're directing in this picture? Uh, I produced the entire film, and then we all directed the uh, whole thing together. Mine focuses on a uh, band that gets lost in the desert and takes help from the uh, wrong people. Can you tell me the segment you're directing in the film? Uh, I, I direct the segment that shows up fourth. Um, it's sort of titled Jailbreak. Um, and so essentially, it's, a, uh, it's, it, it's the segment that kind of takes whatever sort of slim mythology we've set up in the film so far and kind of turns it on its head a bit and then just like keeps driving it home basically so that you know it's a nice fun energetic way to kick off into the final fifth segment. Uh, so you were one of the producers on this uh, picture could you tell me how that came together? Yeah um, I just want to work with Radio Silence again and um, we just started talking um, I'm good friends with Matt and I was eating a hot dog I called him and he was coming back from a wedding and I was like hey you want to do something he was like all right, and literally that's I get. I had like a I had a concept. I gave him the concept and said, um, if you like the concept, come back with your take on how you would do that concept. And they came back with something a little different, um, but more unique. And I really like like um, the concept that they came up with. And uh, from there, um, I needed to assemble a team. And Roxanne, I worked with her on VHS one and two, and um, she really she really understands the the genre. Um, the notes she gives, uh, kind of stuff, she just really understands it. So I called her and I really wanted to work with her. And she was like, can I direct? And I was like, absolutely, you could direct. So we had her pop on and then she had been talking with Bruckner. So it was like kind of this reunion just sort of came together. And um, I wanted to work with Pat really bad um, for one of the VHS movies. So he was on top of my list and we talked to him. He had an idea. We decided to do this brain trust thing and all just get in a room and talk and figure out you know, how this thing was going to work. So it's a new experiment. Um, my VHS was an experiment. This was a different kind of experiment. And uh, the idea was to create fluidity and sort of move away from the anthology because it's becoming, you know, a little trite. So we want to do something different. And uh, hopefully we did. So it's a lot of fun to make. It was a ton of fun to make. Absolutely. I mean, between the cast that were involved, we got uh, David Yao to be the lead man. And I mean, working with David was amazing. Um, and then just the energy of everyone on set between Matt and Tipper. And I mean, it was um, it was a pleasure to do. Uh, and it was just like one of those like so fast and I couldn't believe it was done when it was over. Um, but it was like, it was, it's one of those rare moments where you're so grateful for having been at a moment at the right time. Uh, and so I'm pretty grateful for that. Uh, so how did this project come together? Uh, obviously you produce VHS and VHS 2 and... Uh, it was kind of just getting the band back together, I think. This is maybe our reunion tour. We want to do something new with... Uh, yeah. We wanted to do something new with um, the uh, anthology format and make it something more than anthology and feel like one cohesive narrative experience, so... Uh, why do you think the um, genre community, the genre of films, inspires such a community? Oh, I think it's a, it's definitely feels like it's a peripheral thing to be, you know, a fan of something that could be so gruesome or something that's so like, you know, seems to kind of really strike a chord with a lot of people and disgust a lot of people. And so I think because of that, uh, you find, you know, the, the, the sort of outsiders and the people that are willing to go explore this strange, more extreme stuff. And then, you know, once you find like-minded people and then you're speaking the same grammar and the same glossary and then all of a sudden you have all these touchstones and they're touchstones that mark you so deeply I think that's totally why you know this fan community springs up and I love it that's one of the best parts about this you've been producing for quite a while and now you're transitioning as a director what was that transition like pretty natural actually uh, yeah it was uh, it was pretty exciting and I had uh, a lot of support obviously from all of the directors around me so I feel like I had a pretty good safety net for a first time out of the gate that's cool well, it was very nice meeting you you as well oh, it was very nice meeting you well, enjoy it was a pleasure to meet you thank you so much enjoy the world premiere thank you I'm so excited it's, uh, it's amazing to be here <laughs> were you kidding me yeah. <laughs>